Hey guys, how are you today? I have a Walmart haul for you. My husband and I spent $121.88 on this haul. Now before I start, let me just tell you, I've been trying to do this video, but I've been interrupted a number of times between people's lawnmower services, making noise everywhere, people people's kids screaming at the top of their lungs outside, the cats meowing up a storm. I've just been interrupted so many times. So let's get this going and um, hopefully you like some of the items I got. All right, let's start here. One and a quarter pounds of fresh garlic bulbs. I really like to roast these in the oven and you know, make a spread or a dip out of them. Three pounds of fresh yellow onions. I really like fried onions. I don't know about you guys, but delicious. Next bag. We got six cans of these mushroom pieces and stems. These were 54 cents. A can and I haven't had these stocked up in the house for a while but I like to keep mushrooms stocked up in the house because I like to make fresh pizzas or even when I buy commercial uh, frozen pizzas I like to put my own toppings on them and half the time I really don't have fresh mushrooms in the house enough but those that way they're easy to get a hold of quickly okay baking soda we got a lot of these. Let me count how many boxes we got. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got eight boxes of this baking soda. They're the one pound boxes. We get these a lot for the two litter boxes that we have. They just help keep you know, the litter box fresher when it's mixed in with the litter, so. Yeah, priceless, <laughs> priceless. All right, so I'm getting baking soda all over this wood table. That might not be good for it. All right, next bag. All right, this is very bulky. Five pound bag of Fiesta blend cheese. Some people call this uh, Mexican blend cheese and it really lasts us a long time. It's finely shredded and I use it a lot for like bean and cheese tortillas or um, cheese on scrambled eggs, things like that. Even just put it on a sandwich if you don't have sliced cheese left. Next bag. A Big box of Cheerios, family size. Let's see what else we got. I have actually a lot more stuff here. Ugh, 10 pound bag of potatoes. Let's see, are these russets? Yeah, they are russet potatoes. They look a little small for russets because sometimes russets can be like really gigantic, but we love potatoes in this house. So, all right, next bag. Okay, this is sliced cheese. I find Walmart to have good prices on sliced cheese, for some reason better than a lot of other stores. This is a 24 slice, one pound pack of provolone cheese. This was $3.44. Got a lot of cheese in here. Same price for all of these. My husband likes Colby and Monterey Jack. That's his. Swiss cheese, one of my favorites. Sharp cheddar cheese, I like this. My brother likes this cheese too. It's, I like the sharp, I don't like mild cheddar so much, but I really like that um, sharp cheddar. I really like the white sharp cheddar too. I don't know if it's any different, it does taste a little sharper than the orange one, but I'm not sure. Okay, next bag. Okay, here I have some lunch meats. 
I have been on a kick of buying nitrite, nitrite free lunch meat. But the problem is it's not really free of nitrites because celery root powder, which is uh, what they use for a preservative for these meats, still has nitrites in it. And the idea is that because it's plant derived, a plant derived nitrate rather than la laboratory created nitrate, that is supposed to be better for you. But the jury is still out on that and I'm not really sure that we're making a better decision in getting these. I thought we were, but I mean they taste good anyway. I guess the thing is to eat less processed meats, but we love sandwich meat. So anyway, this is um, Hormel Natural Choice Ham. That's 14 ounces. Got the same Hormel Natural Choice Turkey. 14 ounces. One of my favorites is hard salami. Is it seven ounce pack or six ounces? This is really good. I'm, I'm really a fan of salami. That's not supposed to be good for you at all, but I mean, half the stuff I eat isn't good for me, but I try to eat everything in moderation. Okay, one of my favorite Meats, really, probably the favorite meat of mine <clears throat> is lamb. Now, if you've ever been to the store, especially on Easter or wherever, or if you live near some ethnic markets where they sell lamb, you'll, you'll know lamb can be pretty expensive, especially when they sell like a big leg of lamb. So what I do is I try to get like one pound of ground lamb at a time. This is like $6.44. I grew up eating lamb. I grew, I grew up eating, um, partially grew up eating Middle Eastern food. And ground lamb is very, lamb in general is very popular in uh, some Middle Eastern cuisine. So anyway, I am going to make some dynamite dish with this. I, I just can't waste it because to me it's a little expensive and I don't like to waste expensive food. All right, let's see what we have next. Two boxes of bran flakes. My husband and I eat this a lot. We gotta get our fiber in, especially since we're getting older. Good old fashioned oats. And we like to put these in meatloaf I actually eat them cold for a breakfast cereal. I mean, there's no salt in it, nothing added to it. I really like to have unprocessed breakfast cereal sometimes, and this is great. Like even in the summer, just eat it cold with milk and, you know, all natural and cheap. And we have a big bag of walnuts here. This is a, this is a 24 ounce bag of chopped walnuts. I think Walmart's prices are pretty good for uh, like baking uh, nuts like almonds and walnuts. Pecans tend to be quite expensive I think anywhere you go but walnuts I think their prices are great. Next We have some great value baked beans. Uh, my husband really likes canned baked beans and I find the great value, which I think is Walmart's house brand, is a really good, they have a really good price. This is a 28 ounce can and I think it's around $1.99 where the brand name of beans in this this type of can, this size, I think is $2.99 or more. So if you like baked beans, I'd say great value is really good. So we got one, two, three, all original uh, flavor. We've got two more bags.
Yes, these, I think the brand is Kami. I mean, don't ask me. I'm not really good on ethnic pronunciations. Anyway, it's Udon Stir Fry Noodles. My husband really likes this. And um, they're noodles, they're already cooked. You just warm them up with a little bit of water and you mix them with uh, whatever like Asian style meal that you're making. And it's really good. Like um, we like to have it with like shrimp or chicken and vegetables. Delicious. So we have two of those. And last but not least, the last bag. I've got eggplant. We got two eggplants. Now I am going to be making a Middle Eastern dish with this called baba ganoush. And it's a little expensive to make because you have to, you know, pretty much roast the eggplant and you know gets cooked down and it doesn't look like like big like this anymore after it's made but it's just so delicious so that's what these are for and we got four nectarines also as part of this haul we got a couple of um, you know deli items that were uh, pre-cooked I've got three chicken tenders here for $2.50 and I've got a bag of uh, mozzarella cheese sticks for $2.13. I asked for six of them, but I actually don't know if that's what's in there. Actually, yeah, I think that's probably what's in there. And my husband wanted these boneless barbecue wings and that was $7.65. This is a full pound. This is going to last him at least two meals. And I'm making some rice and vegetables to eat with this uh, today. We wanted to treat ourselves, so, yep. So this is not really as specific like what we would eat in a week or anything, but it's kind of some of the items that we were missing. Um, we find some items are better to buy at Walmart than other stores. It really depends. Some people in my comments have said that their Walmart never has like fresh produce, like with no problems that there's always like, you know, like it's going bad or something. I personally have never seen that problem at Walmart. I mean, uh, I think any store you go to is going to have a little bit of, like some items are going to be turning just a little bit, but um, overall, I'm satisfied with Walmart in terms of that. Some of the items they, they sell are cheaper some are not, so it's good to just familiarize yourself with uh, prices where you shop and you know just keep a note of it and that way you can save a little money. If it were up to me, I would get a ton, ton, ton of produce, but I'm not the only person in the house, but I would love to shove more <laughs> produce down their throats. But anyway, okay guys, well tell me what item here you like the most and maybe tell me the one item you just would not buy at all. Anyway, I will see you in my next video. Thank you for all of your love and attention and comments. I will see you soon.